this. Um, mm -hmm. Queen Bee says, I don't see how it's freedom day. We're still getting bullied into wearing masks. Pestered to get a vaccine half is still petrified enough into still believing everything that's being told. Natalie says, Freedom Day, I'll be putting on full PPE, going to patients with COVID for less than £10 an hour. It doesn't feel much like freedom to me or worth celebrating. No, it's, it's very hard for anybody who's in a um, frontline job or who is uh, in the NHS, uh, social care, or anyone who's immunocompromised, still feels vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, elderly, Dawn says, please don't call it Freedom Day. For vulnerable people, it is not. Of course, it is the day. Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland retain some restrictions. But in England today, it is the great unlocking. So we're ditching the masks. We are scrapping social distancing. Uh, the rule of six is dropped mm -hmm. indoors. Nightclubs are open. Yeah, Restrictions I, I are lifted completely on weddings and funerals. And as we've heard, no more quarantine if you're coming back from uh, an amber list country. Not an amber plus list. <laughs> that's a new restriction uh, that's come in. Um, but, of course, it's all down to our personal responsibility now. But that passenger on the train summed it up for me, the, the uh, older woman who said, look, I wear a mask to protect you, to protect you, you know, pointing to the crew and to the other passengers. Yeah. And I expect you all to wear the mask to protect her. So it's fine saying it's about personal responsibility, but actually other people are affected uh, by your personal responsibility. There was a young girl on the, on, the, on the train as well, though, who had the opposite perspective, which was, I don't want to be wearing a mask for the rest of my life. At yeah. some point, I want to be able to get on with my life. And that's one of the things, isn't it? When do we do this if we're not going to do it now? Is now the right time? Love to know if you are in Scotland or if you're in Wales or Northern Ireland, how you feel about the restrictions being lifted like they are in, the U in England. Are you pleased that you're maintaining some of those restrictions in mm. Scotland or, and Wales and Northern Ireland? Or would you rather they were all going together, that it was a sort of combined effort, that it was the same wherever you were in the UK? Well, still ahead on Good Morning Britain, it's billed as the day to embrace freedom across England. But there are soaring case numbers, around 50,000 a day at the moment, and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in isolation, including now yeah. the Prime Minister and the Chancellor and, of course, the Health Secretary. Uh, who has COVID. Uh, should we give up on the idea of Freedom Day? What restrictions would you keep? Or would you just get rid of everything and say it is time to live with it? Discussing that throughout the programme and after it. Now we're going to get the news, weather and travel where you are. We'll see you in a bit.